this transits in this car is not the same one that we bought and paid for. Yeah. This was my original blown up transmission. Correct. This is not the one that we bought. Correct. Why? What happened to the other transmission? I'm hoping that it's still like, dude, I don't want to have to buy a $4,000 transmission. What are, this is the 305 on the right? Yep. What is this? That is massive. 350 and 50. That is freaking yeah, huge. No, 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 that's 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 mighty big. Mighty big, mighty big. I'll give you two hundred dollars for it. <laughs> Come on. He's got a uh, Drew's got a drag wing. I got you on video saying that. Uh, we, we we'll talk. MMR makes us this carbon fiber wing. <laughs> no, it's on video. You said it. You're locked in, bro. Yeah, it's all carbon, and it's on a red OEM, you know, trunk. So you guys are earning 300 bucks, and I can have it. Uh, should we do it? That would look really cool. You know, eventually we put a parachute back on the car and actually start driving it again. But you know, that's going to lead us into our video, I think, at this point. Like, what's going on with this? Like, it's, you see, it's on the lift again. Uh, I got the Odin. The Odin's doing really good. Love it. Love in the Odin. Guys, this is the man right here. ModernMusclePerformance.net. He's actually the one that sold this to me for a really good deal, so you can hit him up. You could just give me this. $300. And you said and 300 Yes. No. Come to find out, this is not the same transmission that we purchased from the shop, and the shift strategies are 100% wrong. This is the transmission that was given back to us. If you guys remember back in the videos. Uh, anyway, so we have the car back. It's been perfect, one fine. Um, up until today. We're in normal drive mode, driving up here, about a three hour trip, highway cruising, right? And I'm in normal drive mode, doing nothing. I went to go past traffic at about 30, 40% on the throttle to let the car downshift normal. There's a loud clunk in about the seventh or eighth gear when it, when it were, wherever downshifted to. And then uh, RPM started hanging, started doing weird things. And then anyway, that graduated down to gear five. And then I got um, a gear five ratio is incorrect. What's up? I know they'd be different. See? Yeah. Shift strategies confirmed are different. I'm hoping that it's still like, dude, I don't want to have to buy a $4,000 transmission. Yeah, but did any of the, I want, uh, hopefully the uh, the clutches are not. Going back to what I was talking about, the the uh, the car started acting really funny and it has been fine even doing street hits up until this point. But the shift strategies could have been close and similar. Now this, this transmission's got about 1200 miles driven on it. It is built. We didn't have any reason to suspect a, a shift strategy issue needed to be checked or anything because the transmission that was last in this car was what we were told we had and was delivered to us. This transit in this car is not the same one that we bought and paid for. It doesn't like you. This car, me and this car have a love-hate relationship. Oh, you know that. Race everything. <laughs> no, no, I don't. This trans is not the one that we got back from the other shop that had it last when it made all those glory hits at 1,100 horsepower, right? And then the engine had to come out for the reasons we're not going to talk about in this video. Some stuff happened I didn't really agree with. It is what it is. We're going to move forward, right? We've already, I'm not going down that dark path again. That's your original transmission. No, 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 yeah, 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 go it ahead. It doesn't match the one that they put in it to do the glory hits that you paid for. Correct. Correct. But this is the original one. This is what came... You were supposed to give to them as a core. This was other. my original blown up transmission. Correct. This is not the one that we bought. Correct. Why? What happened to the other transmission? Again, we didn't update the code before because we were supposed to have the transmission back that we paid for. That mistake could have possibly cost me another two, three, maybe $4,000. So is this a 10 already problem? Oh yeah. Valve body issues and stuff like that, they're plagued by them, right? But the transmission that we had in the car when we were making those dyno hits before with the twin turbo setup was good. It was proven, it held all of that power. This one gave out normal street driving at around 750 horsepower. It was definitely something up, so we're trying to fix it. Fault went away. Huh? Fault went away, three key cycles. Okay, good. Got to go. I'm just gonna make a whole other video on this camera. Well, you just add what you want. We'll do that. Crop. I've done this video like five times. Problems once again. Well, I'm learning. You've taught me so much over the years. This this guy. Speed Addicts have to do one. YouTube started by baby. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Yeah, it yeah. honestly is. And when we took to re-deliver it the car, we didn't get the same transmission back. But well, you thought we did. We thought we did. We were pointed in the direction. We were given a transmission that was built um, from a company. You guys know they were the first company to have 10 r in the sevens and the quarter mile. I thought that we lost it on the way up here because the car just wasn't shifting right. It was doing good for about a thousand miles, pretty good, until today. Transmission hasn't even been raced on. It is brand new, fresh built. So what happened? I don't know, but we found out through trial and error and a little bit of communication, a lot of communication with the transmission builder and the other shop that uh, this transmission is not the same one. What happened to the other transmission that was in this car? We were making all those hits that we bought. Don't know. I don't want to speculate, but I mean, I'm just making it go through. The I'm just thinking. I'm going to cut out of a half of everything that I've said this again. I don't want to dig up the past. Hey guys, crap. at the at the end of the day, this is a badass car. There you go. Yeah, we're going to test out. We're going to continue driving. Test this out. Pretty stressed because this could have been a, a easy computer fix, or it could have been like, uh oh, we got to spend four grand on a transmission. So let him do his thing and then we'll get back we'll pick up this video in a second trust issues I'm not gonna lie <laughs> these are the R2s yeah they do great man yeah I was expecting it to start doing a dance no oh it, it, it'll clean them off and just go all right felt good felt good felt good yeah it's a hard decision between those and like the R triple eight R's yeah I'll buy these again I trust my I trust my R's because I know if they spin for a second, they're gonna. <laughs> that trans feels great, dude. It does. Does, does it feel a lot better than what it did when you was on your way up? I haven't gone through five. That was all up to four. Yeah. But. But earlier you said you wouldn't own it when it like did it. There, there's a five. No issue. No so issue. earlier when it went to five to six, where you had your issues, right? Even five, normal it was, driving? It was five and up. Yeah. yeah. And they just went through every gear right there. Yeah, it was crazy for the first like 1,200 miles. There's, I mean, let's see. Let's check. Okay, so almost 1,400 miles. Yeah. 10 or 80s are, 10 or 80s are yeah. finicky transmissions. Yeah, it felt good. There was a couple times I go to reverse and then it would throw a light at me, a rich light at me for weird reasons. Really? Yeah. But well, it didn't do that earlier. I didn't know if that was a throttle body issue because it's, and it's it didn't, a weird no, body. Also, you said you, you, you felt like a little bit whenever you put it in reverse before. Right. When I put it in reverse after I changed the strategies, it didn't do that. Right. Yeah, so. See, I thought you had the the transmission that was ran on the dyno that already had the strategy put in the car for. And we I mean, some people say it doesn't matter with the strategies. I, I've always been taught that if you put a valve body in, you update the strategy for the valve body. I've always been taught that through <clears throat> everything I've been trained with before. No, we didn't know. Well, we thought it had already been done. Right, because we were supposed to get them back the same transmission. Yeah. And we didn't. And, uh, you know, it was, it was kind of weird. 
weird because there's some identifying marks on this transmission that make it mine. There's some burn marks on the composite uh, transmission pan, right? And we have that back, but we're this transmission I was never supposed to get back. It was supposed to be upgraded for somebody else. Well, see, I remember you telling me about that after you got back home. You called me up and said, hey, you know. Those marks were gone. Those, no, they're, they're back. They're, they're back. And I was like, huh? And then, yeah. I, I, didn't, yeah, I didn't know until we were really didn't pay Because they're marks that you really don't pay attention to when you're putting it in. And, uh, left? Right. You go left. We do some normal driving. Okay. That way we just put it through its court. Put it through its little... Sometimes it's the little things, man. Yeah. I tell everybody with 10 or 80s, they call me up like, man, my transmission does crazy things. I'm like, man. It's, Sometimes the trends, just a reset, will fix it. Because on the way up here, it started acting funny, right? So we, I, I pulled over and we re we did a trans reload. It didn't fix nothing. And if anything, it made it worse. But it's so weird for, yeah, for 1,300 miles or whatever, it's been fine. Yeah, that's what's funny about it. Yeah, like you would think they would get issues right away i'm telling you 10 or 80s is, is they're finicky i hate them but i mean they're they're great when they work yeah you know i have nothing against them and i'm hoping midnight performance so far to me has the best build out there they're um, very good. i'm hoping that they get them to where you know you toss one in you don't even think about them no more you just toss in the trans and you roll with it Yep. and you got a stage one midnight right it's a stage one and they have a stage two and a stage three it's it's really a stage one or three is, yeah, okay. Is, I, I, I believe, unless yeah. there's something different, but this one's supposed to support a thousand horsepower, and that's all the power that I think we can really kind of attain. Maybe 1100 ish. I think we're gonna run out of blower. We are definitely have more engine than trans or blower. You know what I mean? We're not gonna see 1400 horsepower out of this unless we have a 3.8 wood. Yeah, but the good thing about it is now you got it. When you have an engine that can handle 1400 horsepower, you don't have to stress. And you run 900 to 1000, you're not stressing that engine out. Right. You know, it's. But the 10R80 is going to be our limit. Yeah, I think so also. That's perfect. That's shifting like, shifting beautiful. Oh, man. Huge, huge thank you to Ken. Uh, huge thank you to uh, Lord and Savior up above. This is. Um, I thought I was totally going to be in a $4,000 hole, and I'm not. This is awesome. You guys have no idea. <laughs> okay, we're back at HPR. Guys, by the way, if you don't know already, Ken Speed Attic over here has a shop now. This is his. He's doing stuff like this. He's modifying cars. So aside from YouTube and his day job, He's doing supercharger installs, turbo installs, regular maintenance repairs. So HPR is the name of the company. Awesome location, got the office over here. He's doing a little bit of remodeling. He's gonna make this whole thing like really modern and look good, but speaking of looking good, this thing is looking absolutely fire, but huge shout out to, to Ken for helping me with this. He's a, uh, like a class away from being like a senior Ford master mechanic. He's like the one dude that I trust most when it comes to these guys. This hood is going away, by the way. He bought it. More stuff on the way. Hopefully next week we'll have a tracking number on something to replace this. Something that I've thought long and hard about. But I do like this look. This is the Anderson Composites GT350 style. So I decided to let it go. Bro, thank you so much. You always, you always like save the day. Ken is a saint. So we had a bit of a scare on the way up here to hang out. What's going on? And uh, luckily all is good to go. So 10R80s suck. We hate them. It is what it is. But luckily this one is not dead yet. So we're going to continue to push the car and have fun with it. But appreciate all you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Be safe. And God bless you.